welcome back. It's Maddie with Cloth and Paper, and in today's video, we're going to show you how you can take epic meeting notes using our Cornell style note taking inserts. Hopefully, some of the tips in today's video will help you prepare for your next meeting, take better notes, and organize your tasks more efficiently. If you're not familiar with our Cornell style note taking inserts, I'll quickly go over the layout. Over here on the left hand side, you have a vertical box, and this can be used for keywords or topics. To the right of that is the line section, which is where you're gonna take all of your notes. And then down at the bottom, there's a full length large box. And this section can be used for a number of different things depending on the nature of your notes. You can use it to ask questions, summarize, or analyze any of the data or notes that you have in the top section. So the first tip to taking really good notes is to set yourself up and prepare. When setting up your notes, you might want to add the date up at the top, and this will limit confusion if you're flipping through your planner to access other information. You want to make sure you return to the correct date if you have a bunch of previous dates or future dates already planned out. And then after adding the date, you can list any key topics that you want to talk about during the meeting or that you think might come up. And then from there in the notes section, you can outline your agenda by listing any talking points that you want to bring up throughout the meeting. I highlighted all of my talking points so I know that they're part of the agenda outline. And then during the actual note taking process, I used bullet points to list any topics that came up during the meeting. When setting up your outline, you can leave this section blank, but I know that I'll have post meeting tasks to complete and a list of things to consider for next week. Tip number two is to tab out any sections in your planner that you might need to reference. So for example, if you're meeting with your marketing and PR team, you might want to tab your SWOT analysis so you can easily flip to it, access any information, and flip right back to continue taking notes. And if you're making any changes to the calendar or schedule, you might want to tab your year at a glance or month at a glance so you can quickly access dates. So now that we've talked about two ways that you can prepare for your meeting, we're going to move on to post-meeting tips. So tip number three is to follow up with your meeting notes in this bottom section. As I mentioned before, this section can be used for summarizing. So you can list any tasks that you need to complete, any main topics, and anything that you might need to revisit for next week. Organizing this section and following up with your notes will help you to schedule tasks, make deadlines, and plan for your next meeting. So after listing all the tasks and deliverables in the bottom section of the Cornell style note taking inserts, you're going to want to schedule those into your planner in some way. So the final tip for today is to schedule your meeting tasks into your agenda as soon as you can. If you don't have a lot of time after your meeting to start scheduling tasks into your calendar or your weekly spread, an inbox system would probably be the best system for you. That way you can list all of your tasks and deadlines and you have them written down somewhere. And then when you do have some extra time on your hands, you can refer back to your inbox system. You can complete any tasks that take under five minutes immediately, cross them off and schedule any other tasks into your planner. Anyways, that is it for us today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know up in the poll which inserts you prefer for note taking. Do you like the task inserts or the Cornell note style taking inserts? We would love to know. And let us know in the comment section if you have any other inserts or notepads that you prefer for note taking. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.